Hey guys, Groovy here. Um, I'm on location picking up some VHS tapes from the guy I picked them up from, uh, sorry, uh, yesterday. The guy lives uh, out in Machosan, BC, uh, and his crazy five acre property, and like just a cool place with thousands of VHS tapes. I brought my dog, Lily. Lily, hey. She's, uh, she's doing her own thing. She's scoping. She's keeping an eye for me. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go check it out. See if the guy, oh, there she is. She says, hey, what's up? Um, I'm gonna go check it out. All right, guys, so I just finished, oh, there's Lily. She just had a good nap. All right, so I just, uh, just got all the tapes. Um, I bought about 19 regular tapes, and since I, I bought a bunch off of them, he gave me like a box full of blanks. And they look pretty dope. They're older ones, so it'll be some really older, com older cool commercials on there. Um, there's the box there, a little, little sneak peek. Uh, just chock full. The guy, he's a, he's a good guy. He's trying to, he's like, I'll oh, buy them all, buy them all. I'll give you a deal. Like he's got thousands. I mean, I don't, I don't know how much money he's trying to get out of me, but uh, it was good. Man, the man has a dope property out here, and I got a little bit of food on my face there that you can definitely see. Hey guys, Groove here. Um, I'm back home now. It's actually quite later in the evening from uh, when I was actually picking up these VHS tapes. I went to a barbecue. Um, just before I get into the VHC, VHC, wow, I can't speak. Before I get into my VHS pickups part do, um, I wanted to show you something. I was at a uh, family barbecue and my girlfriend's sister gave me this badass cup. So this is a popcorn cup that is 27 years old from Jurassic Park when it was released in 1997. You could like get the combo and buy this cup and they filled up with popcorn. Uh, her One of her friends works at the local cinema here and I guess they have some sort of storage unit with all like all sorts of older stuff like this. It'd be pretty cool to go through it. I think it'd be cool to like see products of this of movies and stuff that didn't do well like oh yeah that movie came out in 97 but it just tanked and then whatever whatever you know something like that it'd be cool to to quick get find neat swag like that but anyways she was uh kind enough to give me this thought it was pretty cool it was a bit dirty because it's a storage unit for probably you know 26 years at least so yeah anyways thought i'd show you that just to get things rolling here and to look pretentious with my san pellegrino all right, first movie that we got up here. First movie is Airport 77. Um, obviously, the case is... This was obviously in a clamshell at some point or another. Uh, Airport 77. Flight 23 has crashed in the Bermuda Triangle. Passengers still alive, trapped underwater. I don't know. The picture looked cool. Uh, you could tell it was obviously like, kind of like a disastrous movie. Um... I don't know. It just looked cool to me. It really, something really grabbed me about it. I usually don't like getting movies that have absolutely no case to them almost, but uh, I want to watch that movie. I've never heard of it before. By the way, I'm rocking my Swiss cheese hat my buddy made for me. Next up is a movie that most of us will own, The Original Vacation, but I've also never seen it in this beautiful clamshell. How sweet is that, eh? And like... Look how, like, the outside's a bit dirty, but, like, you don't get any cleaner than that. And if you're wondering, yes, they still do have that stinky-ass smell. But that looks clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle on the inside. All right. And this one here is not clean, but it is looks cool to me. From Beyond the Grave. Oh, that, like, you can barely see the thing but it looks good all the tapes oh what do we got here mikey we got another crazy mike um let's get this into crazy mike pizza yeah from beyond the grave the insides are fine the outsides are a little dusty i wonder if you could take this out because the picture art you know that's not gonna happen but you know it's underneath this sorry underneath this it the picture is clean it's just a dirty ass clamshell but anyways uh I'm pretty excited for that movie. It looks cool. The next one we have, the original, House on Haunted Hill. I thought that would be a good one to get. 
$7.99. Not what I paid. And I got Dreamscape. Um, I don't know anything about this movie. I feel like I should. Dreamscape. Looks awesome. Is that better? Dreamscape. Oh, I'm excited to watch this. Don't know anything about it. I'm sure some of you guys will. But yeah, the next one I got is Them. Have not seen this either. The sci-fi classic of the atomic age. Looks like uh, ants have kind of taken over the world. But uh, oh, what's this one here? That's entertainment. This is property of that's entertainment. Anyways, science fiction movie, them. I thought that was awesome. Um, next one up, classic uh, City Slickers. I own the DVD of this. Went to pop it in the other day, and the DVD wasn't in the case. Hate when that happens. I have no idea where it is. I know it was my fault. I know I put it in the DVD player, then flipped it upside down somewhere, and then put, to put another one in. Didn't put it back in the case because I was being lazy. So what did I do? I went out and bought the Please Be Kind Rewind VHS of it. So I'm going to have to watch that probably tomorrow. I love City Slickers. It's a great movie. Next, have... Oh, this is just another classic. Money Pit. Saw this. Couldn't put it down. It's got a nice little case on it. So it's a little uh, sun bleach, but the actual cardboard is in great case. The cardboard is in great case. Great shape. Sorry for my non speakings I'm a little bit tired from all the barbecuing. Um, that is not part of that. That is a blank. We have next is Return of the Fly. I don't know. Like, I know the... I forget his name, but I know the movie The Fly, and then I think there was a sequel to that one, and obviously there was an original The Fly. I didn't realize that there was an original sequel to The Fly. If I don't know what I'm talking about, and this is the first one or something, um, just let me know in the comments, but uh, Return of the Fly. Once again, the inside looks pretty good. Oh, and it's Video Update. That's another local video store. It's, I love getting different ones now, like every time one pops up that I haven't seen before. I honestly, the funny thing is here, I haven't gotten a Blockbuster. I've gotten Roger's video, Mikey's video, Zanian video, Mikey, Crazy Mike's, all these random video update, um, Nighthawk video, tons of different ones, but I have not gotten a Blockbuster. I will get one. All right, the next one is 13 Ghosts, the original. I think this is going to be awesome. You can tell that it's obviously super, I mean, it's super old because it's black and white. But it's also super old because it's supposed to be like 13 Ghosts, like a horror-ish movie. And it's rated P. It's rated G. So basically like, what is G? I forget. It's like, basically kids can watch it. Like PG is like parental guidance. This is one step before that. So like a nine-year-old could watch it. So the next is a Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson in Alistair McLean's Breakheart Pass. I love Hes Charles Charlton Heston. Charles Bronson, um, especially in the, the the Death Wish movies. I loved those. Personally, uh, a little little uh, tidbit to the people in the Death Wish movies. Do not date this man, because you'll probably end up being dead. Um, anyways, Charles Bronson. A gem, for sure. That stack is getting quite teeter. I got them all stacked up straight there. Another Charles Bronson. I was in a Charles Bronson kind of mood. Charles Bronson. Ellen Burstein. Act of Vengeance. New. It is new. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Act of Vengeance looks cool. Charles Bronson, heck yeah. Let's see if the actual tape looks good. What is this one here? Nice. We got another one. This one's called Select Video in Courtney, British Columbia. That's up the island a little bit. Um, that's awesome. And it's a Cineplex, oops, sorry, Cineplex Odeon. I know that's backwards, my bad. Um, but yeah, cool. Excited about that one. Love getting different different rental stores. It's fucking sweet. All right. This one here, um, I didn't actually pick out. It was in a box of other stuff that the guy gave me. I'll explain that at the end. This one's called No Time for Sergeant and Patterns. The Golden Age of Television. I think this is some old black and white TV show. Not super excited about it, but uh, what do we got here? Another crazy mics. Oh, awesome. And I love, I told you, I love my little different colored tops there. Anyways, um, I'm not super interested in that. 
Maybe I'll give it a go one day on a rainy day. It does rain a lot here in the Pacific Northwest. And this one is The Believer with Mr. Sheen. Daddy Sheen, not uh, Charlie. Awesome, eh? Looks cool. A little bit of schmutz on there. But uh, yeah, Believer, the case is a little, a little worn out. But apparently this is previously owned by Tammy and Jimmy. Mm, it smells like cigarettes. But yeah, The Believer's. Awesome. All right, what do we got next? Oh, another dusty one. Yeah, I wasn't even joking. It's kind of pretty gross, actually. Um, this one's called Run. Patrick Dempsey and Kelly Preston. Pursued by the mob, hunted by the police. Luck was his only weapon, and she is his only hope. Run. All right. I don't know. It looks kind of like a cool little action movie there. Did I look at this already? All right. Uh, what video store is this one? Oh, cool. This one's from Vancouver. It's called Night and Day Grocery Plus Video. It's so probably like the little like convenient corner convenient mom and pop store that just happened to also sell a bunch of or rent a bunch of VGS. VGS. Wow, you get to all I'm tired. VHS tapes. That's awesome. Night and day grocery plus video. Super cool. All right, what do we got up next? Fighting Back. Who stars in this? Starring Tom Skerritt, Patty Lapone, and Michael Sarazen. All right, you see that? A little bit of glare there. Where did that glare all come from? Fighting Back. That is cool. Um, I don't know how good that looks or what it'll be like, but it... oh, let's get that out of there. <sighs> We're just full of crazy mics today, aren't we? Crazy mics everywhere, fighting back. Nice. Mm. Action movie. What do we got up next? Storm. This looked like a cool one. If Gotcha grabbed you, Get set for the deadliest game of all, Storm. A remarkable new thriller, wonderfully offbeat. Jay Scott of the Toronto Globe and Mail. So yeah, Storm. I just thought like the picture alone with a guy with the balaclava on, the hole and the three dudes there, that just looked like a very good, I don't know, like either an action movie or a horror movie. I don't I just thought it looked fantastic. So yeah, sorry about that glare. Is that, uh, what, the glare? Anyways, um... Oh, man, it looks like he's giving him a handy there, doesn't it? Anyways. Uh, oh, and it's top says Hollywood Tonight. Hmm. Hollywood Tonight Video Systems. Oh, man, there's just tons of different rental stores. So, Storm, check that out. Did I say who starred in this? Um, production, film. I don't know, but it looks good. I'm... Uh... I'm excited to watch that one. And last but not least... Cat's Eye. So that is this one here. Cat's Eye. Pretty excited to get this one. A very, very young Drew Barrymore, if you can see her there. So I'm kind of confused. Uh, is this the Stephen King one? Yeah, Stephen King. This is, it has a bunch of stories in it, though. Is it just the one about like what it's like to be a cat kind of thing? Like it goes through the vision of a cat? Is that what this is? Um, I'm kind of confused with it. But anyways... Let's see, what is this one here? Um, oh, they scratched out a bit of the stuff, but not a big deal. Don't know what video store that is. Anyways, Cat's Eye, let me know in the comments what you think about it. So, that was my pickups. Um, so, when I bought these, uh, since I've bought now quite a few movies off this guy, he gave me an entire box full of um, recorded stuff off of TV. But, like, in the previous video that I made, they were, like, uh, I was... What's it called? Night Gallery and another show. And it was like, each tape was a season of that. But the one he gave me now... Hold on, I'm going to pull the box over. Because it is a... Yeah, a big-ass box. Oh. Just full of, like, random tapes. Like, this one here has got... Uh, a Thing About Machines. The Hunt. Um, DVD. That's a weird one, sorry. I can't really read his writing on that one. 
Well, like this one here, it's got uh, curious. It's got like an episode of Twilight Zone, some Jay Leno on it, Seinfeld, classic commercials. V. John Cleese, whoever that is. If you want me to look, I just don't want to bore the pants off you with it. I'll gladly look through those and read you what's on them and stuff like that. And maybe it'll be some old cool shows. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video of it. If not, then I'll just kind of go through them myself. And, you know, once I get the, the proper equipment, I'll record some of the commercials and make a video out of that or something. But uh, for right now, yeah, that's what I got the pickups for. He also sent me that. It was a good haul. Um, Y'all stay groovy, and I will see you later.